So since my last video, I've adjusted the socks a bit. The head was a bit too far down, so I've moved it up. I've adjusted part of his back end. I've adjusted some parts of his legs. I've adjusted this part here, and just this part here, and some of this. And I need some trees at the back that I've forgotten. So, yes, the face looks a lot better now. It's still not perfect, but a lot better, won't it? Um, so I did that. And then... When I thought it was as good as I was going to get it, I rubbed out all the grid marks and the grid lines. Um, the rubber across and down. And that's why you can see rubbed marks here. Um, part of what I drew got rubbed out when I rubbed out the grid marks, but I sketched in what I needed to sketch in. This is all going to be covered in paint anyway, eventually. So I'm still, you can still see some grid marks here and there, look. I've tried my hardest to rub them out, but some of them just won't budge. And that'll hopefully be covered up with white paint for the snow. <laughs> and, oh, I've gone dark. That's better. <laughs> um, so, um, so we um, see some bits. Stop, I've gone dark again. Stop it. I've got, see some more of the lines. Um, I did try it about as much as I could. So that, I think that is ready for painting on Thursday. I have um, watched a YouTube video about how to paint fox fur. I don't think it's still sunk in uh, very well, so I'm going to watch it again. Um, and then Thursday is painting day. As usual, I will start with the background. And then I will go on to do the fox. And I've got to really study that video to make sure I know what I'm doing. He said he was using a number two round brush. I'm going to have to see if I've got one of those. I need to be very careful. <clears throat> and uh, it, With acrylic. I'm going to try and make sure I don't use too much water or not, non, no water at all, if possible. Just use the paint neat. It, that way it won't be runny and hopefully they won't get any runs then. I'll be able to do the lines of the fur. Very detailed. So I'm going to look to see if I've got a number two round brush. Um, I got these brushes from the works. I've never used them. I keep getting, I keep buying brushes that I never use. No, because I just like buying brushes. I usually use the ones that are in that stand, but I've got these ones as well. One fifty from the works. I've got. Some more that I have in my um in there in the like pencil case section. There's more brushes. I've got water brushes. I've got I've got more brushes. I've got brushes that come with sets of paints. Anyway, I'll look at these and see if I can find a number two round brush. Some paint brushes that I get they don't have numbers on them. I don't know whether these have got numbers on them. So that's what I'm going to do now. Then I don't know if I can take the top off this over there with one hand. Sorry for that, now I can't take it off with only one hand. 
I'm going to have to end the video and look for the brushes without filming. I will tell you later on when I'm doing the painting whether I found brushes that from number two round brush or anything. So that's it for this video. If you enjoyed it, give it a like and subscribe and I'll see you later. Bye.